Hi, my name is Jack Collins and welcome to my studio. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my paintings and my process of making them. For the first 30 plus years of my life, I was a painter primarily of, of uh, acrylic on canvas. Eight years ago, I started breaking up pieces of wood and attaching them to the canvas, eventually getting rid of the canvas and working only with wood. Uh, currently, I, initially I started with working relatively flat and just collaging pieces of wood together. But over the last few years, I've started to work in the third dimension and started pulling pieces off the picture plane and pushing them back into the picture plane. Um, that allows another element. I, I have places now, this is an unfinished piece, I have places now where you can put your hand behind the painting and in those little spaces, I add something that is surprising, an element of color or something that's different than the rest of the painting, but just further informs the interest in the painting. Um, this is also, this is a finished piece, and in this you can see I've got quite a bit of space that happened behind them. And in fact, you can even see the inside the edges. And I started painting the edges of the paintings so that from certain directions, it changes. So here you have three pretty much black lines supporting the entire painting. When you take this black line of the edge away, you have this for a painting. That is, uh, that's successful to me. I'm always happy with this. It's a surprise. I don't know what's going to happen with it. Um, these pieces did not start here. They never do. They start, they slowly get put together until they become like this, which is just a section of a piece of a painting that didn't work in a painting, but I still save that section, hopefully to use it again. In fact, I think this piece was part of this painting at one time. This painting, unfinished as it is, I chose it so I could show you kind of a way I structure them. And this is put together very randomly on the wall sometimes on actual stretcher bars, but they're really quite tentative. In fact, this painting <coughs> fell off the wall in the studio and came apart. And in putting it back together, I didn't have a photograph of it, so I had to just reconnect it and it changed. And I was happy in that change because everything, every spontaneous movement has a reason to exist, even if it is to later negate it, but certainly for that moment, it informs the piece as I'm working on it. In pieces like this, these are finished over here, and this is to show you a little bit of an example of when I work more organically, but still very beaten. The uh, surface is beaten, there are crevices and cracks, and then something like this, which is much more geometric, and that is certainly has a uh, three-dimensionality to it as well. This comes off the wall maybe about four inches. Um, and then something like this, which is a smaller piece, which is relatively flat. I don't do it. This doesn't have a whole lot of actual depth in it. It's all illusionistic. So basically, that's what I do. I try to find interesting solutions that I've never used before to make my paintings. I have a tendency to fight my subconscious a lot of the time. I know that your subconscious usually informs your conscious moments before you're going to get to the, to the choice you make. So at times I will walk up intending to pick up orange to add to a painting but may randomly just grab a green to surprise myself and put it in somewhere which wakes the painting up again. So it's constant rebirth and destruction and rebirth and destruction until they all come together to make a whole. And this is my studio mate of 15 and a half years. This is Bowling. So thanks.